and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Matt. And I am Nina. And today we're looking at part one of practicing what you learned properly. Yes, you know, speaking of that reminds me of the company dinner when you ordered something all in Chinese by yourself. I've been practicing. I was so impressed. So, can you tell me a little bit more about how you practice what you learn? Well, usually I try to, when I learn a new word or a new thing, I try to make sure to use it right away. So, I try、okay. to make sure to find a way to use it either the day I learned it or the day after. Oh, wow. That's a very、mm -hmm. smart move. What about Listening to Chinese songs or watching movies in Chinese, do you do that as well? Yeah, I think it's another good way to practice is to you know, find some music that you enjoy. So、mm -hmm. I found some, some music that I enjoy to listen to, and also watching some great movies because you're entertained and you're learning. That's true, okay. And what about speaking with other people? Yeah, I think、uh, it can be difficult to do,、mm -hmm. but finding other people to speak with by doing something like a language exchange is a very good way to practice, and it's something that helps me to practice. That's awesome. I think that can apply to any language,、mm -hmm. right? So if you're learning English, maybe you can try some of math, Matt's methods、mm -hmm. in learning Chinese. Okay, well, let's find out more about how to. Practice what you learn properly after this. Sal wants to be a good speaker. He reads books, watches videos, and more to learn. He picks up a lot of useful information. Then he starts practicing what he learned. By practice, Sal doesn't say his speech the same way over and over. He knows that's just a waste of time. All right, welcome back to practicing what you learned properly, part one.、Mm -hmm. So, properly, practicing what you learn properly. Properly is an adverb, and it means to do something in the correct or the right way. Yes. So, I remember. If I would go to a nice restaurant with my family and I was, you know, sitting like this or, or maybe like putting my head down on the table,、mm. my parents would tell me to sit properly at the dinner table.、Mm, yes. Or, for example, if you're writing something and you're not holding your pencil properly,、mm. it will not come out neat, right?、Okay. All right. Sal wants to be a good speaker. He reads books, watches videos, and more to learn. Okay, that's kind of like what you do with Chinese. I can't read books yet. Not yet? <laughs> okay, you'll get there.、Mm -hmm. So, he wants to be a good speaker. A speaker is a person who gives a speech at a public place, or it can also mean just someone who speaks.、Mm -hmm. And sometimes it, it can even mean a device that plays audio, right?、Mm -hmm. Like playing your music through a speaker. Right. So, usually, if you hear this word, you can usually know from the sentence if it's talking about a person、mm -hmm. who's a person who's, who speaks or gives in a, a speech, or if it's a thing. And, like, I turned on, you wouldn't say I. I turned on the speaker to hear the music.、Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be saying that about a person. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so continuing. He picks up a lot of useful information. So, useful is something that can, he can use, right? It helps him. Then he starts practicing what he learned. By practice, Sal doesn't say his speech the same way over and over. Okay, so he changes it up a little bit, right?、Mm -hmm. So he's not doing it over and over or like again and again. He's not doing the same thing many times.、Mm -hmm. He knows that's just a waste of time.、Mm. 
So what's a speech? So he's practicing his speech. A speech is a sort of formal address or a thing that you say usually to a group of people,、mm -hmm. and usually it's a longer thing. It won't be like just one sentence or two sentences. It should be a little bit longer, and it's a little bit more important.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, the president gave a speech on New Year's Day. All right. Okay. So, also, he knew that it would be a waste of time if he practiced it the same way over and over. So, waste here is a noun, and it means when you use something when it's not needed or too much of it when it's not needed. So, you're wasting whatever it is. So, for example, that meeting. Did nothing. It was an absolute waste of time. Okay. Yes. Or you can also say you shouldn't waste money. But in this case, waste is used as a verb. Mm-hmm. So、yes. there's many things you can waste: a waste of time, a waste of money,、mm -hmm. uh, a waste of energy. Exactly. To do something that you didn't need to do. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Or actually, waste as a noun can also mean Something like trash,、mm -hmm. right? So、mm -hmm. if you don't need it, it's waste. You can throw it away.、Mm -hmm. That's right. So these are some interesting ways that Sal practices and how he does it properly. I hope we can find out some more about how he does this after the break. Yes. See you later.、Bye. Instead, he practices properly. One part of that is to set improvement goals. For example, Sal knows he doesn't pronounce his words clearly, so he works on that until he does. Welcome back. We are learning about a boy named Sal who wants to become a good speaker.、Mm -hmm. So we learn that he picks up lots of information and then practices it, but he wants to practice properly. Yes. So one of the things he does is he doesn't just practice his speech the same way over and over again. Because he knows that's a waste of time. Okay, so let's find out how he practices. Instead, he practices properly. One part of that is to set improvement goals. Okay, so he is setting goals. To set something is to decide. So when he decides what his goal is going to be, right?、Mm -hmm. Or you can also set something aside. In this case, is to put something in a particular place or order. Okay. Yeah. So I know when someone decides that they're going to get married, usually they decide they're going to get married, and then later they need to set the date that they are actually going to have the wedding and、exactly. get married. Exactly.、Mm -hmm. So they said. To set improvement goals, so improvement means something that is better or something that gets better. So an improvement goal is a goal about getting better or making yourself or something better. Yes. For example, when I first started doing yoga, I set some improvement goals because I have very bad flexibility, so I can't stretch my body the way I should. So every day I would set a new goal of where I can stretch my body to, until I finally achieved a pose. Okay, that's、yeah. great. So you improved, which is. Verb meaning to get better. So you improved and improved, and now you've shown some great improvement. Yes, thank you. <laughs> For example, Sal knows he doesn't pronounce his words clearly, so he works on that until he does. Until he does, meaning until he pronounces his words clearly.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he doesn't know how to pronounce clearly. So pronounce is a verb, and it means to say a word or a letter in a particular way.、Mm -hmm. For example, 
Like when I saw your name on the videos, I saw that it was spelled G O U L E T.、Mm -hmm, my last name. Yes. How do you pronounce that? So my last name is pronounced Goulet. Goulet.、Right. So many would see it and think you would read it as Goulet because、mm. it has a T at the end, but it's actually a French name, so it's pronounced Goulet. Goulet. Okay. So you don't pronounce the T at、mm. the mm. end. That's right. Okay. Okay. So he doesn't pronounce words clearly. So clearly is an adverb, which means in a way that is easy to understand.、Mm. So if someone doesn't speak clearly, you won't be able to understand them. And you can say I didn't hear clearly as well. So maybe my mother called me for dinner, but I didn't hear what she said clearly.、Mm. So I shouted back to her, "What?" <laughs> yes, or sometimes maybe it's too dark and you cannot see clearly,、mm, right? Right. So that means that it's not clear. Well, you cannot see all the way. You can't see exactly what you're seeing or be able to understand what you are seeing. Exactly. Okay. So those are some interesting ways that Sal practices. And I think we're going to learn a little more about how he practices properly in part two. Yes, so we will see you next time. Bye. Sal wants to be a good speaker. He reads books, watches videos, and more to learn. He picks up a lot of useful information. Then he starts practicing what he learned. By practice, Sal doesn't say his speech the same way over and over. He knows that's just a waste of time. Instead, he practices properly. One part of that is to set improvement goals. For example, Sal knows he doesn't pronounce his words clearly, so he works on that until he does. I'm Tina. We're looking at this word's key words. First, speaker. Speaker, adjective, speaker, speaker. The speaker gave a good speech today. That 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 speaker gave a good What a complete waste of time! This 完全就是在浪费时间。最后一个单词 pronounce, pronounce 动词发音。How do you pronounce your family name? 你的姓怎么念呢？接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，somebody wants to be a 加名词，某人想成为什么东西。be 在这里是一个一般动词，意思是成为、变成。我们来看看这个例句。Nora wants to be an influencer. Nora 想要成为一位网红 ，influencer 就是网红。下一个文法 pick up 学会学到，这是一个可以分开的动词片语，意思跟 learn 类似。我们来看看这个例句 ：I want to pick up some new skills. 我想要学习一些新技能。最后一个文法 over and over 一再一的。这是一个副词片语，也可以说 again and again。我们来看看这个例句 ：Amy listened to the new song over and over. Amy 反复听着这首新歌。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。On the west of Tunghai University is Tunghai Villa Shopping District. The shopping district is a great place for shopping and food. You can find anything from traditional street food to special restaurants. Tunghai Lianxin Ice and Chicken Feet Galantine sells delicious braised foods such as dried tofu and chicken gizzard. Across the street is a shop called Bean Taro Balls and Grass Jelly. Their shredded ice with taro balls and grass jelly is great. Tunghai Pork Belly Bun serves pork belly buns in many flavors such as chicken leg fillet, beef, pork belly, and lean meat. You can also add an egg with the bun. 
Other types of cheap and delicious food can also be found in the shopping district, such as sweet potato balls, octopus balls, and large chicken fillets. There are also many drink stands and tea shops for visitors to choose from. Nothing feels better than to shop and eat at the same time.